Welcome to this Sealux flange band presentation. In this video, we will explain the technical features and benefits of the flange band shower base and bathtub perimeter joint sealing system. Not all shower base and bathtub receptors present the same challenge when it comes to ensuring a watertight joint seal. Because not all shower bases and bathtubs are the same. Many receptors are manufactured with integral tile flanges that require installation behind the exposed face of the shower wall backer board. Shower bases and bathtubs are also manufactured without integral tile flanges, and these are generally installed outside the shower wall backer board. The challenge we set ourselves was to design a new high-performance joint sealing system that would accommodate shower bases and bathtubs with and without integral tiling flanges. Our sealing system promotes a menu of three separate components, the Sealux strip membrane, a foam backer rod, and Sealux and silicone, or equivalent. The strip membrane and foam backer rod are also available as a co-bonded sealing assembly. For shower bases and bathtubs with integral tile flanges, the strip membrane and silicone sealant provide a perfect sealing solution. For shower bases and bathtubs without integral tile flanges, the strip membrane and silicone sealant can again be installed for a watertight seal. Alternatively, the strip membrane and backer rod can be installed as separate components with the silicone sealant or as a co-bonded assembly with the silicone sealant during installation of the receptor. Our sealing system not only accommodates shower bases and bathtubs with and without integral tile flanges, but also offers greater installation versatility and higher performance than is possible with traditional joint sealing materials, as we will now explain. First, let's take a close-up view of these three key components in the installed orientation between a flange-free receptor and adjacent wall. The Sealux strip membrane the backer rod, and Sealux and silicone, or equivalent. Now, let's peel back the wall covering materials and reveal the technical features of flange band, the tiles and grout, the joint sealant and backer rod, the tile adhesive and waterproofing membrane. The strip membrane extends two and three quarter inches above the rim to form a continuous, flexible, waterproof sealing flange around the receptor. The non-woven fleece layers bonded to both sides of the strip membrane enhance mechanical adhesion with approved sealants, thin-set mortars, and shower wall waterproofing compounds. A self-adhesive bed on the back of the strip membrane allows the strip middle portion to be fixed to the wall before the strip upper portion is permanently bonded to the wall with adhesive. This ensures the strip lower portion below the self-adhesive bed can release off the wall and deflect at its point of contact with the silicone as a means of relieving joint movement stress between the receptor and wall. The red-tinged surface of the strip membrane is primed to provide tenacious waterproof adhesion with approved silicone sealant. A strong bond between the strip membrane and silicone is essential to maintain joint seal integrity in the event of joint expansion between the receptor and shower wall. Typical causes of joint expansion are receptor weight settlement during use and drying shrinkage in the surrounding new build floor and wall materials. The silicone we recommend for installation with the strip membrane is Sealux N High Performance Neutral Curing Low Modulus Sanitary Grade Silicone, or equivalent. The backer rod is a closed cell foam with a self adhesive bed applied to one side for bonding onto the receptor sidewall. Alternatively, a round backer rod can be installed in retro installations. The three-sided sealant reservoir formed by the receptor sidewall, the foam backer rod, and the strip membrane is proportioned in cross-section to maximize sealant elasticity in the event of joint expansion between the receptor and shower wall. The foam backer rod also reduces noise transmission from the receptor into the adjacent shower wall. The strip membrane can be installed retrospectively into an existing joint between a receptor and adjacent wall, over a receptor rim built into a wall, or in the reverse orientation, over an integral tile flange to provide the following benefits. 
It extends the tile flange height up 4 inches above the receptor rim. It provides a flexible watertight connection between two rigid surfaces, being the receptor flange and the shower wall. It eliminates perimeter ponding along the integral tile flange, thereby reducing the potential for damage caused by water wicking into the tile backer board and surrounding materials. It provides a reliable means of connecting the receptor rim with liquid and fleece laminated waterproofing membranes, which simply extend down over the strip membrane. Now, let's take a reality check inside the joint between a flange-free receptor and shower wall to evaluate how this sealing system performs under joint expansion. Regardless of the type of backer rod used, the sealing system accommodates joint expansion in the same manner. As you can see, the exposed silicone bridge between the tile and receptor rim releases off the round backer rod and stretches under tension. Joint expansion is accommodated through deflection in the strip membrane at its point of contact with the silicone and shear elongation of the silicone bridge between the releasable strip portion and the receptor sidewall. When the sealant joint between the tile and receptor rim fails, the sealing system ensures the resulting leak is contained inside the shower area. The sealing system is very durable because the silicone reservoir remains concealed and protected from the shower environment. Both versions of flange band are available in short roll installation kits and in longer, more cost-effective trade roll format for high-use on-site and off-site construction projects. We hope this presentation has been of interest, and we thank you for your time viewing it. If you have any concerns not addressed in this video, please do not hesitate to contact us.